Alright, so um, last night I did the equation wrong by only putting b, where it's supposed to be negative b, and um, basically I ended up having like negative 13 plus 10, which made both of our um, options um, negative numbers, but I make a mistake, and trust me, it's easy to make that mistake. Please don't be like me. It was like a refresher for the equation, and um, it was my fault also because I did not plug back in the values into the equation to see if I got it correct or if I got it wrong. So that was my fault. So this would be the answers. And um, just don't make that mistake. It's negative b, whatever, plus or minus square root of b squared. Notice I have the negative 37 in a bracket. I like to put my numbers in a bracket so I don't mix them up and get confused. All right. So we're going to solve this question on this side by completing the square. Um, last night i thought you were referring to the other way you could do it which is by factorizing i'm like you can't do that by factorizing but yes it is indeed true you could do it by completing the square although i, I would yeah although it might be a very long thing but this is what we're going to do okay so now remember in completing the square you would have this equation and the equation would be like um for example we have um a squared minus uh b squared a squared minus b squared would be equal to something like a squared uh, minus 2ab uh, plus b squared so we're trying to get this equation up here to something like something like this right um, right now how we have it we have this 37 right on this side I really and truly we want to have um, this at least this portion of the equation on one side so instead let us just rewrite it and um, it'll be uh, okay 20 X okay hold on it'll be minus 37 minus 37 X and minus 37 X on that side and it'll be 20 X squared minus 37 X plus 15 is equal to 0 now that's good but to complete the square this big 20 there is gonna make it really bit difficult and so we're gonna try to make this a one. So what I'll do is I'll divide. I'll divide by twenty. But if you divide by twenty on this side, you must divide every other unit by twenty. Okay. So everybody gets divided by twenty. And um, good. So then we would have what x squared, right? Minus thirty-seven over twenty is equal to actually one point eight five. So that'll be one point eight five x, and this would be. Um, 3 can go into 15 five th 3 times, 5 can go into 15 3 times, and 5 can go into 24 times. Um, so we have plus 3 over 4 is equal to 0. Now when completing the square, we need to try to put this number, when you have the original equation, put it on this other side. Because it will be really difficult to find out um, what times what would be equal to that. So put this on this side over there. And how do we do that? Well, you know already. We minus by minus 3 over 4 on that side. And so we will have x squared minus 1.85x is equal to minus 3 over 4. And uh, this part of the equation is very simple. Sometimes it might confuse you, but how do you remember it? Just say, all right, we need to find... Hold on, let's just make a little space here. We need to find uh, what number is going to come in here. Remember the equation where I had uh, a squared plus 2ab... Um, plus b squared we're looking really and truly for the b squared and we know what so how do we find that we can say we can do the long route in this case the a would have been the the, the x squared so uh, if I had to rewrite it it would be something like um, 2 x b which would be if I had to remove this right here and I would have put a x to x Remember, algebra is just basically taking out um, variables. So, we would have um, that equation. So, basically, that middle portion, that minus 1.85, is actually equal to 2xb, right? So, if we do a little quick algebra, I'm just proving my reasoning, right, for this. You do not have to really follow that. If I have 2xb equal to minus 1.85x, I could easily find what is b by just saying this side divided by 2x and this side divided by 2x and this will cancel and half of minus 1.8 is 0 0.925 right we could do that but we're not going to do that big run around we're just going to go straight 
and we're going to say, all right, so half of 1.85 is actually equal to what? Minus, minus 0 0.925. But that minus 0 0.925 is actually the value of B. But we want the B squared. So then we have to say, okay, minus 0 0.925 squared would be equal to positive, right? Because a negative times a negative is a positive. Negative 0 0.8. Five, five, six. Okay, negative. Oops, sorry. Positive, sorry. Positive. Positive zero point eight five five six, and that would be what b squared would be, right? So we can easily just remove this right here because we know. And remember, this was added onto that side. So if it was added onto that side, we also have to make that addition onto the other side of the equation. So we end up having 3 over 4 plus, right, because this was added here, right, plus 0 0.8556. Now, I would advise to convert this fraction here into the decimal as well, and you would end up having something like 0 0.75, um, negative 0 0.75 plus 0 0.8556. And that'll be something like 0 0.1056. I like to do it to four decimal places since we haven't found our final answers yet. Okay, so on this side, we have this right here. So then what do we do next? This basically is like saying x squared minus 2a, sorry, minus 2, just like the equation, right? 2xb plus b squared. And so that would give us an equation where it would be x minus x squared minus b squared is equal to uh, 0 0.1056. So all we have to do now is uh, basically find the square root, right? Okay, good. So this is why I move. I make a big step. I say, well, since I have this and I have this, I can now say that um, the, the answer for this would be something like x minus Right, because remember we've got the 0 0.925 minus 0 0.925 squared is equal to, to this. Now we want to cancel out, so we have to do the square root. So we'll find it, and we'll say the square root of 0 0.1056 plus or minus, and this would be, since you find the square root of this, then this would cancel off, boom. And this would be... Um, uh, x minus 0 0.925. Now, basically, we've reached our solution, basically, and um, it could either be, your answer could either be x minus 0 0.925. Hold on, no. I want to just do it like this. x, right, is equal to, if I was to send this on the other side, I have to add 0 0.925 on both sides, right? Plus 0 0.925. And that would be, x is equal to, uh, 0 0.925 because it is pos is a positive number um, plus or minus the square root of one sorry the square root of 0 0.1056 and this will give us two answers where um, x um, is either equal to um, 0 0.925 plus the square root of 0 0.105 is 0 0.325 and that plus that would be 1.250 or x would be equal to 0 0.925 minus the square root of 0 0.1056 is uh, minus 0 0.325 which is x is equal to 0 0.6 you can add a little zero, add a zero so yeah those are both of our answers um, <laughs> Yeah, last night, because I failed to write the negative B as shown prior, um, I ended up getting um, different answers. So this is by completing the square, and this is just a quick, quick summary of by um, the quadratic formula. So, yep, that's how you do it. So first of all, we try and make this, we divide whatever number you see here in front of the, the X, you divide it, and uh, everyone has to get, every, with the way you treat this side, you're going to treat everything the same. So yeah, that's how I arrive at the answer. Thank you.